Hello, my name is Leopold Armesto, and in this video I will explain how to program a robot using Robot Studio from ABB. And the idea of the video is to generate a path in order to mechanize a set of letters uh, using, in particular, the IRB140 robot. So the first thing we have to do is to just simply select the solution with a station and bitter controller. You can put a name if you want. Uh, let's say UPB letters and then you just simply need to create click create okay and um, this will take a short time uh, meanwhile the solution is being created but in the meantime I will just simply mention that the idea is that we want to generate a set of instructions from uh, in rapid language from ABB and the idea is that we want to reach a uh, a specific approximation point close to one of the corners of the letters and then we will go downwards towards the, the, the exact corner and then we will follow the edge of the letters exactly the shape of the letters and we will move to the next letter and so on and while doing that we will combine uh, linear and nonlinear movements and we will also use uh, different speeds depending on uh, if we are mechanizing or we are supposed to be mechanizing these letters or we just we are just simply moving from one point to another point in the air okay so that's that's important so you can um, specify different parameters whenever you program your instructions okay now right now the controllers is being started so it will just take a short time and immediately we will be prompted here about which specific model we are uh, we want to use okay there it is so we select the first option and we click OK. And there we have the robot. And now the next thing we have to do is uh, to add a tool here to the robot. So we just simply need to import one of the existing equipments that the software provides. In particular, we are interested in the training objects, my tool. So we just click here. We have the tool. We can't see it right now, but if we drag and drop the tool to the robot what we're doing is we are attaching the tool to the robot so we are asked if we want to the robot or the tool to be updated in position and then we say yes and then we have the tool at the end effector of the robot okay the next thing is uh, to import a geometry with the letters we want to mechanize and this will be done in the import geometry browse for geometry and you just simply need to uh, simply uh, select the UPB SAT file that will be provided uh, uh, there's a link in the video description in which we provide this uh, file here um, you just simply have to select it there it is uh, we need to rotate it you will see because it's not in the correct place so we have to place it and we just simply need to uh, right click here position rotate and then say 90 degrees uh, in X minus 90 degrees in Z okay that's it and now again we right click position set position and then we say 800 millimeters 200 millimeters there it is so okay. uh, next step will be to create a working object and this is a reference frame that is usually attached to the uh, object we want you want to work with and this is done by here in the menu other you have to create a work object okay and now we have to uh, set the frame for this object and the best option we have right now it's frame by points if you select the three point method you can uh, select three points by just simply enable the snap object mode in which we are going to select the first point in the in the x-axis so we have to select this point and then we have another second point on the x-axis and then we have another a third point but this one belongs to the y-axis with that we have selected or created uh, a frame there it is just by using this method and right in the corner of the letter 
Now, the next step will be to create a target or a set of targets that belong to the border of the letters here, the edge of the letters. So we are going to create a target here. And I recommend to use the work object we have right now here. Work object one is this one here as a reference frame. And also I recommend to use the surface selection mode here. And uh, you might be able to also to enable the snap edge mode instead of this uh, snap object. Both of them are fine. Okay, but depending on what you want. And uh, okay, so the idea right now is we want to create another object or we want to create an object here in this corner, but the first point will be an approximation point here above 20 millimeters above. Okay, so we're going to create the object right there and then go backwards and modify this coordinate that coordinate and set it to minus 20 and then we're going to select a new one here No, sometimes, as you can see, this point here was not correct. So let's undo. And let's create an, again the new point. There it is. And uh, yeah, we can create a new one here and uh, another one. Oh, sorry, the last one was not correct. A new one right here. Yep, yeah. and another one right in there, but we can modify it and set minus 20 here. So it will be this point again. We can create uh, the targets. Uh, we just simply need to click on here, create. And we will have a set of targets. Okay, let's check if they are correct. So if we select this target here, this one is in there, that one's fine. Everything looks fine. We are going to uh, generate uh, a trajectory for this specific letter. Okay, and the idea is that first we need to see how the tool is oriented with respect to the target. So we have to right click here and set view tool at target and there it is yeah because of the orientation of the target as you can see here the z or in the axis of the of the target the x and y axis and this is the x y and z axis the target will be uh, or, or the, the orientation of the tool is not correct. It's not exactly what we expect. So we need to modify the orientation of the tool and set right click here, uh, modify target, and then here rotate. And then uh, let's say from the local frame of the target, which is that one, we will apply a minus 90 degrees in Z. No, sorry, uh, 90 degrees. Let's undo this. And let's apply another 90 degrees. That's it. And this is the correct orientation we want for the target. Okay. So now once we have this target at the correct orientation, then we can just simply copy the orientation and then select with the shift key, select the rest of the targets and copy. Sorry, sorry. Uh, apply orientation. That's it. So all targets now will have the correct orientation. 
we want to create uh, a path with all these targets. So first thing we need to do is just simply, uh, we don't want to see anymore the tool at target option. There it is. And now we want to create a set of um, movement instructions to generate a trajectory here. So we are, we, or we have, sorry, a template here in which we specify which are the default instruction we are going to use. And we are, let's say, interested in doing a trajectory at the velocity of 50 milliseconds per, or millimeters per second, sorry, uh, with uh, an accuracy of Z0, which is a very good accuracy, but it's a, a non-stopping point, it's a flyby point, okay? And then we use my tool, that's correct, and then the working object one, which is the, the one we have created, okay? So this is by default the instruction we're going to create. So once you have modified this, you just simply need to select all the targets and right click there and say add to a new path. There it is. We can just simply name, modify the name of the path, let's say path U. That's it. And then if we deploy this uh, option here, we have all the instructions. Okay. The first one, usually, it's a move J instruction. So we have to modify this instruction just simply by modify instruction, sorry, edit instruction, and then say, okay, this is a joint um, instruction because it's easier for a robot to reach this point here with the joint instruction. Uh, we can also increase the velocity to 300 and let's say also increase the zone so that it's not that accurate. It's not necessarily that accurate, okay? We just simply apply this. So this is now is a move J instruction. And now, for instance, this trajectory here belongs to this line here. And then this one could be done with slightly higher velocity than the usual mechanization velocity. So let's say we want to have a 100 millimeters per second velocity, but it's usually convenient to have a fine uh, option here because we want this to be a stop point and then we start with the trajectory. So we, this is a fine point here and then we have the whole trajectory there and the last one, this is uh, this trajectory here. This has to be another fine. So we'll stop at the end of the trajectory. And then we just simply move upwards to a higher velocity uh, with not necessarily that accuracy. Okay, so that's correct. And now also take a look at this, uh, this one and this one, for instance. These two move L instructions because we're moving in a straight line. So this is the, the default uh, instruction we selected. Here is not doing the curve. So we have to select both of them and then right click and say modify instruction and convert to move circular. So now it's a circular instruction. So we have to do this thing here also for that one. Let me see. No, for that one and that one. These two. And these two. Now we can repeat the same procedure to generate the targets and the paths for the rest of the letter. So I will leave all these steps for you because it's a bit studio, uh, very tedious uh, step. I have already explained how to do it with the U letter, so you can do the same thing with the P and the V letter. So now I have created uh, all uh, the required targets that we need for all these letters. So uh, also I have just set the correct uh, orientation for the for the targets. So the first target here for letter P is this one here. So now if we select all of them, including this whole thing here, yep, yeah, all these targets here, we just simply right click there and add a new path for the letter P. And that's it. And that's path 
Um, we can do the same thing, uh, that one was from P, and we can do the same thing for the letter V. So we just simply need to select the target, sorry, the target, that's it, and create a new path with letter V. That's it. Okay. And uh, by default, we have created the, the paths with uh, the template we, we previously selected. So that's correct. And so we have three paths here. And now we need just simply an empty path. We're going to call or uh, rename it as main because this is the entry point. This is the default entry point, as you can see. And then we are just simply saying, OK, uh, I would like to, uh, sorry, in here, right click, uh, insert procedure call, and then we say, OK, I want to call path U. And then uh, the, here you can see this is the path U instruction. So this is path P and then path V. OK, so this will call all these three procedures here. OK, we are not exactly done because we also uh, need to modify some of these instructions. Specifically, we need to modify some velocities and, uh, and the, 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 um, also the zone data we provide for these instructions. For instance, this one here, uh, we just simply, since we're moving from one of the corners of letter U to one of the corners of letter P, we can do that at a fast speed and with a higher um, zone so we can do that for that thing here and also then we will be moving in a, a straight line here that's fine but here and here sorry here and here no these two yeah these two will need to be converted to uh, move circular these two will need to be converted to move circular and so on okay and also we will need to uh, for instance for this instruction here that it's moving downwards we said that okay we can do that with a slightly higher velocity but with a st stop point so this need to be a fine point here and also the last instruction, you know, the previous one, when we reach this point, we want to be a fine point as well. And this upward instruction there, going to that target there, will be a trajectory with a velocity 100 and the accuracy could be five millimeters. Okay. And then that one will move to the next target, which will be uh, this one, but uh, 20 millimeters above. Okay. So that's the idea. You can do this for, uh, or you can just try to complete all the necessary steps to make all cure things and uh, adjust the velocities and the zone data. And next step will be to upload all these instructions here uh, to or translate them into rapid code so what we need to do is to synchronize to rapid here in this button here and we select everything and then we click ok and then we can go for the rapid tag here and deploy our program and we'll see if we double click here in the module one we will see all the target ROP target instructions with all targets we have created, with all the positions and the orientations. These are the quaternions, and this is the configuration we've used, and there's no external axis, and so on. Okay, so these are all the ROP target uh, definitions we have created, and then we have in the main, we have the call to three procedures, UPV, and in each of the procedures, we have all the instructions that are move j or move c or move c sorry move j move l or move c uh, with the corresponding targets velocities and uh, zone data tool and the work object okay so we have to make sure always and check the rapid code 
And if, if it's not anything we want to change, we can always, or we must always synchronize back to all changes we have made in the rapid code to the station, okay? But in this case, let's just simply uh, click here in play and see how it works. It's going there and it's following uh, the path of the letters. You will see that there's likely there's a stop point right there in the corner. In the meantime, everything is a uh, fly point. And then there's a small stop and then moves faster to the next point. If you want, you can disable all these targets. You can hide them. Just by click, right click here, view, visible, and then you can hide them. Okay, so thank you very much.